What's your favorite space fact? After traveling since 1977, Voyager 1 has now reached about 20 light hours distance from the Sun. Fast does not begin to describe the universe. If you could see it all clearly with the naked eye, the Andromeda galaxy, which is on a collision course with us, would be huge in the sky, several times bigger than the Moon. But since it's 2.5 million light years away from us, all we can make out with our eyes is its super dense core. But if your eyes were more sensitive, you could see a giant spiral galaxy floating right overhead, like this and this, sus, https, slash slash wait but why dot com slash 2014 slash 06 slash andromeda dash brighter dash u dash c dot html. Most of the visible stars in the night sky are binary stars, two stars orbiting each other. Neutron stars are so dense that a teaspoon of material from one would weigh around 10 million tons. There are clouds of alcohol floating in space. Alcohol clouds in space. Jupiter has over 60 moons over 70 now, and well on the way to 80 as of today. Closing parenthesis. Neptune was discovered using math. A man named Alexis Bouvard made some predictions on Uranus's future position using Newton's laws of gravity, but when it was later observed it was found to be slightly off. Orbain Le Verre found that if he assumed there was another planet further out, the discrepancy would be explained and used math to predict where it could be found. Finally, a man named Johann Gaia looked in the spot Le Verrier specified, and lo and behold, there was Neptune. Being able to see a total solar eclipse is a sheer coincidence of timing. The moon is just large enough and just far enough away from Earth to appear to be the exact size of the sun during a total eclipse when it covers the entire disk of the Sun. Since the Moon is slowly moving away from Earth, one day it will no longer appear large enough to fully cover the Sun, and there will be no more total eclipses. This won't happen for 600 million years though, so don't panic. That there are 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe, and that number is likely to at least double as Hubble goes further and observes more of the universe. It's insane to think that we live on a mere speck within the Milky Way galaxy, and that there are possibly 199,999,999,999 other galaxies out there, each separated by millions of light years. The enormity of the universe is mind-boggling. Venus spins backward, whatever the direction of the other planets when they are rotating. Venus rotates the exact opposite way. The Sun loses about 5.5 million tons of mass every second, or about 174 trillion tons of mass every year. Space welding. In a vacuum, you don't need welding materials to get two metals to fuse, they will do it on their own if you place them close enough. The universe is still in its very infancy. In fact, according to some studies, despite an almost infinite number of planets, 92% of all planets there will ever be have not even been formed yet. The universe is in fact so young, relatively speaking, that several types of stars have, have not even had enough time to exist yet. Blue dwarfs, red dwarfs that have started spending the last of its hydrogen, the first of this kind of star, is not expected to exist until a trillion years in the future. Considering our universe is only around 13 billion years, it is going to take some time until we spot the first blue dwarf. The blue dwarf will eventually turn into a white dwarf. Black dwarfs. A white dwarf can be formed in any number of ways, and we have observed a lot of them. But, when a white dwarf star cools down, it starts the process of becoming a black dwarf. 
This process can theoretically take as little as a quadrillion years, or, or as much as 37 quadrillion years. This is the ultimate fate of our sun, and the process is going to take thousands of times longer than the universe has even existed so far. There are two confirmed oceans in the solar system, one on Earth, and one on Saturn's moon Titan. The biggest difference is Titan is about minus 180 C. The ocean is liquid methane. It even has waves that get as high as, wait for it, a couple centimeters. If you were to scale the universe down so that the sun was the size of the period at the end of this sentence, the nearest star would be four miles away. Also, the Big Bang was not an explosion of matter. Rather it was an expansion of space itself. Everything is getting farther away from everything else. As all space is expanding, there is no center of the universe. Saturn's tiny moon Enceladus has volcanoes that spew ice particles at speeds faster than the escape velocity. The particles leave Enceladus' atmosphere and get pulled into Saturn's ring system forming the ring. You could fit all the planets in the solar system in the space between Earth and the Moon. I can't say this is my favorite space fact, for obvious reasons, but it's absolutely amazing and heartbreaking. There is verifiable evidence that at least three astronauts survived the initial explosion of the Challenger in 1986. Each astronaut was equipped with a personal emergency air pack, and when the shuttle cabin was recovered from the Atlantic Ocean, at least three of these air packs were manually activated. I just want to know what NASA's protocol is for an astronaut dying in space. Do they send the body back to Earth on a little pod? Do they send the body out the airlock to circle the Earth forever? Due to gravitational time dilation, from the perspective of a black hole's event horizon, the event that created it only happened moments prior. But from our perspective, black holes are some of the oldest and longest living objects in the universe. And because a singularity is believed to be a point of infinite density, time is infinitely dilated at that point. So from the perspective of the singularity, it exists at only one infinitely small amount of time. With this in mind, a black hole would not be an object, it would be an event. More specifically, it'd be an explosion with such a high energy density that it warped the space and time around it, and slowed it down from our perspective. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.